uh, I wanted to change gears a little bit, and I wanted to ask you about uh, one of your articles. So I'm going to refer to uh, innovation and failure uh, from words uh, to deeds. So in that article, uh, you mentioned firms often ask employees, you know, to put their careers at risk you know, by taking part in, you know, failure prone uh, innovation projects without really assuring them that they won't be punished if the, the project actually does indeed fa fail, right? So uh, can you explain your point? Yeah, uh, and let me kind of step, step back uh, for a second. Is, is that one of, the, one of the manifestations of this kind of, you know, um, innovation paralysis uh, in, 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 in many corporations, some people call it innovation fees, or some people call it innovation do. Uh, whatever it is, it's actually one manifestation of that is is uh, emphasis on so-called culture of innovation. Now, let me be very, very, very clear. No one denies the importance of cultural as aspect of, of innovation as every uh, you know human activity. But unfortunately, uh, you know these talks of creating culture of innovation uh, lead nowhere. And the best what is produced out of that, in my view, is another cliche, and innovation is full of cliche, is, is let's fast, uh, fast let, let's fa fail fast and often. And, uh, or, or so some organization actually even suggests to celebrate failures. Well, let's face it, in every language, in every cultural and, and corporate setting, Failure is failure. It has negative connotation, and people don't want to fail, especially in corporation and modern corporation, when when failure is becoming your part of your tracking record. Now you are asking people to spend time, energy, to to put additional uh, efforts into something, then fail, and 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 hurt or, or ruin their careers for what? And and. Uh, that is that is where uh, where corporates, corporations do actually very poor job creating specific condition protecting uh, people from 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 negative concepts of fail. So, in my view, you shouldn't celebrate failures. You should provide your employees with immunity for fail project. And here, I see a a very clear. Because you know of my, my, my background in academic science, I see a very clear parallel with tenure track position or tenure position in American universities, where people have actually time to to do something without evident everyday results, without being uh, without facing a perspective of being you know fired or or any other concept. And so one of the recommendations or which, which I, 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 I'd like to, to suggest is that when you start a strategic innovation uh, project is that you put people involved in this project on some kind of tenure track position or at least at, least at a fixed contract position as opposed to simply uh, employment at will. So people have this fixed amount of time to experiment, to fail without, without having the stigma of failure on themselves and on their, their resume. 